densities. So do you see that this is not as dense because this is bone marrow and this is going to be compact, sorry, uh, spongy bone or cancellous bone. So, and this is going to be cortical bone here. Notice this right here? Okay. So here's the site of the fracture. A couple things that's happening. Number one, you can see hyperdensities here, which means there's bacteria growing there. I'm not saying the bacteria shows up on x-ray, but when the bone marrow gets heavily colonized with organisms, it doesn't look like healthy bone marrow. Number two, do you also notice right here? And if this is post-reduction, this is during the this is during the fracture. This is, this is, and uh, afterwards, you see this right here, and you see that you don't have a real good thin line cortex here. So this is a malunion. The patient is not healing on time. If you were to get an x-ray of somebody who's healing on time, actually you see a nice, powerful, thick, solid line, and you don't have a lot of this stuff going on. So osteomyelitis causes a delay in fracture healing.